Hi, this is Chris Metcalf, Socrata's Director of Developer Experience. And in our previous video, we showed how you find data sets and get basic help. Now, once we've got our data, data set endpoint, let's uh, learn a little bit how we can filter that using SOTA, the SOTA APIs, and the SQL query language. So previously, we went in and we grabbed our API access endpoint from the API sidebar. Now we're going to go into our API test tool and start experimenting with that API. So once we have this in here, this is just Perl, it's a great tool for, for testing out RESTful APIs, uh, and we've done a request against it, we can look at its structure and use that to figure out how to build queries. If you learn, as you learn how to use SOPL, the best reference to use is our developer site, dev.sircrata.com, uh, and then and underneath API docs, there's details about simple filters and SOPL queries. So we're going to start first with simple filters. With simple filters, you simply use the field name um, of the field in the API, as the basis for your query. So if we go back into our, uh, our test tool here, we'll see a listing of all the different field names in this API. Let's say, for example, I only wanted to get, um, I only wanted to get galvanized bike racks for some strange reason. What I can do is I can use that field name, which is just the key in the JSON, as part of my filter. So I can pass in a new parameter, just key value pairs, get pairs like every get parameter. Finish type is galv. And if I launch that request, you can see the results I get back are only galvanized bike racks. Let's say, for example, I was also going out with a group of friends, and I wanted to look for bike racks that had a higher capacity, and maybe they were also in a certain location. So let's look for uh, bike racks near the Socrata offices that have a capacity of greater than two bikes. So I'll get rid of that simple filter, and now we're going to use what's called a SQL query. So a SQL query as you might guess based on uh, its similarity to SQL, is based on the SQL query language and allows you to break down a SQL query into different, different parameters to filter data. So in this case, we're going to use the where parameter uh, in order to filter the results that we get back. So we're going to use the where parameter here, dollar sign where. You'll notice that SQL parameters all start with a dollar sign to differentiate them from the namespace of, of the simple filters you can use. Then we're going to pass in our query. So what we want to look for is uh, records with a rack capacity of greater than two. And then we're going to also look for ones in a particular location. So to do our, simple, to do our query for rack capacity, we just use rack capac capac greater than two. And then we want to add on a second filter using a geo query. So geoquery is a special kind of function you can use on a location column. Location column um, is a geospatial column that contains a latitude and longitude and an optional address uh, for a record. So in this case, our data set has a location column, which we can find here. Um, location, where'd you go? There you go. So it's a location column, and that is the rack uh, address field. So let's go grab one down here. Rack location. So that's the field that we want to use. And this SQL function takes a couple parameters. So we want to use the within circle option, which uses the location column field name, latitude and longitude, and then the radius of the query we want to run. So let's put this in here now. So within circle, then we're going to put the field name that we just copied, and then the latitude and longitude. Uh, I have a magic expando for the Socrata offices, latitude and longitude and then a range in meters. So let's look for things within, let's do a kilometer since we're going to walk a little bit. And you can see in the results here that there are a number of ones within a thousand meters. Let's try a little bit smaller circle. Here we go. So here we have a painted bike rack with a capacity of four um, that is pretty close to the office. As you learn how to do different queries, a great thing to do is to reference our uh, data type specific documentation um, on the Socrata developer site. Each data type has different options that are available uh, for you to do different types of query. For example, uh, for timestamps, um, you can do uh, queries based on time ranges. Uh, for, uh, for things like numeric, you can do greater than, equal than, and even use operators to modify the output of a data set. Uh, as you learn as well, if you run into any problems, 
Um, there's a help section on our developer site too. So if you click on need help, there's a couple options for you to um, access help from Socrata there, including uh, posting questions to Stack Overflow in that community, uh, joining us in our IRC chat room, um, or uh, submitting bugs you find with our libraries and our documentation through GitHub. Thanks, and hopefully this has been a helpful, helpful resource to you, and I invite you to watch our further videos for additional help with more specific topics.